A new tool in the form of an internet browser has taken the internet by storm and is in my opinion, not only the best browser available right now, but the potential to be the greatest ever by a mile. And I'm talking about Arc Internet, the new browser created by the browser company. This thing actually innovates and brings new ways of browsing the internet in a way that I've never seen done before. New things that might not be for everyone, but I do know one thing, and it's that every content creator should make the switch from Google Chrome or Safari to Arc because of all of the features that made me make the complete switch. So that's what we're gonna be talking about this video, the features that made me switch, what ARC has done really well, what ARC is missing, but most importantly, I just wanna equip you content creators like me with a better experience to use the internet. going on my name is Andres Tagliaferro but you can just call me Tags and on this channel we talk about all things content creation and entrepreneurship and the biggest part about making money from your content is the internet okay if it wasn't for the internet a lot of us photographers and videographers would not be making much money at all so whenever I found out about ARC and installed it and started using it and started falling in love with it I knew I had to come to you guys uh, to let you guys know about it because uh, like nobody knows about it yet and you know there's a couple of viral videos on YouTube spreading the info but I still have a lot of friends who know nothing about it so I really just needed a place to vent and, and explain my my excitement and give you guys your new favorite tool so the first thing I want to talk about as a content creator that made me really like this browser is the UI and the design of the browser not just the browser but the website of arc.net you know if you go to the website it's the boldest like sickest like we're coming like statement ever they put like arc is the chrome replacement i've been waiting for and it's literally it's a quote it's not even them saying it it's a quote from somebody else from the verge and just when i saw that i instantly got excited i was like this is gonna be sick all you need to do is go down their landing page and see for yourself like it's just amazing that the features that it has that allow you to customize it are really sick you can pick a specific color palette for your browser you can do a bunch of little customizable things that no other software really does like i know chrome you can like install other themes and things like that but you can't literally create it the way that you want it created and as content creators i thought that was just something cool the other thing about the ui and the design that i love as an apple user an apple fiend if you will is that it's very apple-esque i think it was actually created on the Apple development software so it has a lot of the functions that you know you might only find in a Safari without having to use Safari because Safari you know it got better but it's still not up there in my opinion you get that kind of uh, minimal feel that slick Apple feel out of a browser that you would want in a Google Chrome imagine if Safari was like 10 times better and just 10 times cooler and 10 times more creative <laughs> that's arc if you're a designer or if you're a photographer just you you have a creative mind and that's something that matters to you i think arc is going to be your new best friend for that purpose and that purpose alone but i wanted to hop into the main features that really make this browser stand out and make it different and actually justifies the claim that i made that it's actually changing the way that we browse the internet it's not just another clone of what browse so number one, the change that they made that they shifted from having the tabs at the top of the screen to having the tabs on the side of the screen. So instead of like going up and looking at all your tabs and your tabs being visible all the time in a really messy way, if you have like 40 tabs, if you're that kind of person, it can get a little nauseating and, and anxiety inducing, but having, but moving it from the top of the screen and, and always being visible like that in that way to the side of the screen is a really cool feature because one, it helps you focus a little more. You're not, you don't have that weird like micro distraction of knowing you have 30 things open which maybe is reminding you at all times subconsciously that maybe you have 30 things that you need to do bucketing that to the side helps with focus and again as somebody who's never really struggled with having a thousand tabs open because i like keeping my stuff clean because it does bug me even i noticed an impact and a difference if you are somebody who keeps 40 tabs open a thousand tabs open that's going to change your life tab organization is really the main function of this browser and the main innovation that it's doing it's making it possible to be the type of person who doesn't have to close tabs all the time because it's not in the way and it's not there and so a lot of the features you're going to hear are tab related that's kind of the big thing but the other thing that i think is super cool is that it has things called spaces right and you can basically create different as many spaces as you want 
of groups of tabs. You're completely separating your workflow and what you're seeing through these spaces. So uh, one of the common ways that it shows is that you can have a personal tab, save tab section, and you can have a work save tab section. And so that's really cool because now you can have tabs that are you know bookmarked for your work stuff and for your personal stuff. And you can go in and out of it by literally just gesturing the side with two fingers. But not only is that cool for saving tabs and grouping tabs, but I found it to be really cool, again, for focus. If I'm really focused in work mode, I can swipe over to the work site and I can have a group of tabs that are all related to sending emails, maybe downloading songs for videos. It creates that separation of home and work in your browser, which is super cool because one of the things I do the most and we do as content creators is procrastinate. So having to take one extra step to go to all your tabs that have to do with, you know, YouTube, like watching a random video or Twitter or Instagram or whatever, having that in one personal pile and then having all of your work stuff that creates a whole nother browser, if you will, makes a huge difference. Something else that I really like about the browser is the ability to hide the toolbar with a super quick shortcut, Command S. One thing you start to notice as you use Arc more is that the real estate that the sidebar does feel like a lot. Having the toolbar at the top makes it a little easier to, it, it feels like you have more real estate. It feels like you have more space with that. So the side toolbar did take some adjusting. I found myself just hiding the sidebar altogether. And then if I wanna go look at it, I can just drag and hover over the left and it'll snap over and I can switch or I can do what I like to do, which is not use a toolbar at all. And anytime I need to create a new tab, I do command T, type in whatever. And if I need to switch tabs, when you hit command T, it also shows a list of other tabs that are open that you can click down or up and then enter and move through. This exact functionality has made my workflow and whatever I need to do online 10 times faster. Like I just find myself just less clunky having to mouse and click. There's a lot of shortcuts in Arc that make using the internet really simple and really quick and fast and efficient. At least it makes me feel that way. And that's one of those functions that helps me, you know, just going command T down, down, enter to go from email to uploading a video on YouTube. Like these are things that are super sick, micro adjustments that are actually pushing uh, the browser space forward. The next thing I want to talk about is Arc Search. So they have a mobile app and it's called Arc Search. And uh, I didn't want to go without talking about this because it's actually super sick. If you look right here, I have Arc right down here. Don't make fun of how many calls and stuff I have, right? One of the things that Arc does that's really cool is when you browse, you can click this little button that says browse for me. Okay, and if you click that, instead of you just Google searching, it uses AI, like a chat GPT type beat, to find your result. And it creates this really cool list of again, very Apple-like list of recommendations, right? This tool, like using Arc Search, like I don't use Google, I don't use uh, Safari on my phone, I just use Arc Search. That actually leads me to the thing that has bugged me about Arc so far is that they haven't launched an iPad app, I use the iPad mini, and not being able to use Arc on my iPad when I have it on my desktop and my phone is really annoying because if I want to use my iPad, which I use a lot, I still got to use Chrome. I'm sure that's something they're working on. But yeah, Arc really has made a really good impression on me. I've, I have used it for over a week. I've used it for about a month now. And it's just like, I don't want to use any other browser because this browser is so snappy, clean, customizable. It's just it's everything I want in a browser, right? It's everything that we want as creatives. There's no really like a huge thing that I can say here that's gonna be like, if you get this app, it's gonna make you this amount of money or it's gonna, there's not, it's not anything like that. I think it's just a really cool switch that's just gonna make using the internet a lot more enjoyable for all of us. But if you do wanna learn more about making more money with content creation, I suggest you watch this video on the screen right now that talks about like the one thing that most content creators miss when choosing to make a business out of their passion. Click on that video and I'll see you over there.